Okay, okay, okay. Hello everybody, welcome to this video. This video is going to be slightly different because I am just going to strip everything down bare to the bare basics and just going to tell you about what I think is the state of Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another video on Thrive Labs, the place to come for your crypto news and uh, price uh, analysis. So the first question that I wanna cover is is this time too long i see over the internet on the internet lately i see a lot of people getting extremely bullish and you know uh, or extremely bearish it means that the emotions are running extremely high um yes we have gone we have crawled we have crawled out of the depths of the market at 15 16 thousand dollars um nearly a year ago nearly a year ago and now we have seen an increase in price all the way up to nearly 44 thousand dollars which overall is literally almost a 200 percent increase we have had a really great run uh, this year so far we are in the latter stages of the year and the year soon is coming to a close now with price reaching these kind of levels right uh, it, it makes total sense that your emotions tell you like oh did i miss the run should i get into uh, in now yet if you just simply take one second of your time and zoom out and see at how price has performed over the past year is the question do you really want to just buy in sell your house sell your kids sell your wi-fi to get into crypto right now at the end of the year after nearly a 200 percent increase in price this is a question that i'm posing to you in an attempt to make you think about how far we've gotten on this uh, on this crypto journey so far and if this is really the best time to buy, if this is really best, uh, the best place and time to buy, uh, if you have been following some of my videos, then you already are aware that I am looking for that $50,000 uh, in price ultimately. We are very, very, very close to that. So, you know, is this the is this the right time to buy and hold for the long term? And I'm not necessarily talking here about day trading it because that is what I will show you how you can relativate everything, right? That is how you can rel relativate everything. But before I go into that, I want to pose the same question for those who think that price uh, is going to drop. Um, the thing is that, yes, maybe, but also at the same time the price is and has been very strong over the year and we have seen continuous increase uh, increases in price we have seen a lot of people getting extremely bearish over here or remaining very bearish over here we have seen people remaining and staying bearish over here as well and the same goes over here over here over here over here over here and yet again over here you have to ask yourself the question out of all of these attempts maybe after the 20th attempt yes of course you can be right but this is the thing in trading the markets it, it really is not about being right or wrong it is your sole job as an investor or a trader is to be involved in the market and extract profits despite the fact if you're right or wrong for example i can be wrong on a price prediction yet i'm still able to make money and the way that i do that is i frame the chart in such a way that i have points of reflection where i can where i know that price might uh, might evolve into something bigger or not right so with having that said let's get into what i deem important levels on bitcoin right now so as you all might uh, know i am looking for higher prices and as of now this has yet to invalidate this is not invalidated yet we have seen a retracement but you have to also understand if we are in a strong uptrend retracements in the markets are healthy even if these declines mean 10% uh, 10 drops or 20% pumps, for example. Price does rise, but it does retrace. And that is completely normal, even very healthy. Now, we have seen such a drop in price. And naturally, after we've seen such an increase in price, your, your brain is, is asking yourself, 
you know, is, is telling you, oh, maybe this was the top, maybe this was the top, but is it? Now let's boil down to the facts. And like I said before, I'm going to keep this video extremely simple and just give you literally everything you need to know without making it overly complex. And for that reason, I've prepared two absolute key levels. And the, the simply, simply put, I've mapped out the most important resistance to the upside that, that uh, validates uh, the continuation of the trend and the, the, a very strong support level that would, uh, that would make this uptrend, and I'm talking about this latest section, a little bit weak. And even then, you know, the so-called bull market is not, not yet over yet. However, if we start breaking this support, it would mean that after we have ranged for a significant amount of time, successfully broken out of, and if we break down in back into this section, that would signal an initial sign of weakness. By no means is this a complete re uh, mm, reversal of the trend. It's by no means extremely bearish, but I would be a little bit more cautious and rather than expecting higher prices sooner, I would expect a, a delay in that increase in prices. We might just travel just a little bit down, exploring this old range first before getting a secondary attempt in um, into actually reaching these highs, right? And as you can see, despite the fact that we've had a 10% drop in price in a single day, we have not even come close to this particular level. Yet at the same time, we also have not reached this resistance level at all. So all that this tells us is everything at the moment is still completely Okay, yes, we've seen a retracement, but as long as we do not lose this major uh, support level set at 37,700, um, then everything is still good to go. Everything is still good to go. It is a healthy retracement. Yes, it was a big drop. It was 10%. But as you can see, if we zoom down to the lower time frames, we've seen that drop. We've ranged here for a little bit. And then we have seen um, a form of price action, which is called a swing failure pattern, meaning that we take out this low grab the liquidity over there and then simply reverse and continue the trend and as of now this is what is going on right now and that really is the analysis that i have for you right now major resistance coming in in uh, at that starting really starting at that 45 to forty six thousand dollars and that resistance region goes up all the way to fifty thousand dollar region and this is where we can start answering our question is this the best place to start getting into longer term long trades in my opinion, this might not be the best idea, right? This might not be the best idea because if this is such a big resistance zone, then why would you want to buy just prior to this resistance zone? Maybe you want to wait out first what price is going to do if it gets there, wait for a larger retracement that can come out of there, possibly, uh, wait for that retracement and then once that that has been uh, completed and we have seen that bigger retracement, then you can get involved for the longer term. And until then, for me, it is uh, personally, I am definitely not longing uh, Bitcoin right here, right now. However, I am very interested in looking how price is going to react because this is such a significant resistance uh, region. It is definitely very possible that we might see a bigger reaction from there on out. So what a, the message that I have for you here today, instead of trying to catch every single small move, especially if you're not that experienced in trading these kind of markets just yet, then you might just want to wait things out just a little bit longer, remain patient, let price unfold, let the narrative come to us, um, and then once the bigger regions have been hit, such as these region or this region, then that is where the real opportunities lies. And in the meantime, if you are not in a trade, then yes, it is what it is, but that is also part of trading. If you really think about it, the best trades come when you are not looking for them, but when they come to you. And... Um, 
in addition to that, this is also where most people are just running around really excited or extremely depressed by the fact that we're dropping in price. That would be the moment when you have made your plan in advance by, for example, plotting and planning out bigger levels ahead in time. And, and instead of focusing on trading a small and choppy area, um, wait for the really big uh, and good setups. That is the message that I wanted to uh, convey in this video. Um, and uh, yeah, as far as this SFP goes, I am looking at the BitGet chart. So if you're interested uh, on what exchanges I'm trading on, I am my main exchange is the BitGet exchange. Uh, if you if you want to try out that exchange, it's a really nice exchange, good liquidity, technical levels are extremely well respected. Um, in the description below this video, you will find a link. And if you click on that and make an account through that link, you will get a lifetime 15% off of fees. Uh, if you are struggling with KYC on uh, getting KYC on exchanges, uh, I've gotten a lot of questions uh, from not only within the community, but you know, from YouTube on 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 X, uh, etc. Uh, people asking me what what do, if I have a solution for those who just simply don't want to do KOC and just want to focus on trading. And I've um, tested a lot of exchanges, um, and I've I've put some effort into finding a good alternative solution. And my choice has become two bit. 2-Bit is a relatively new exchange. It is a relatively new exchange, uh, but I like it a lot because a lot of the old team from Bybit is involved in this exchange and they're really focusing on making it a no-nonsense exchange. There's no like really crazy out of this world uh, promotion, staking, blah, blah, blah. It is just make an account. You get going in two minutes. You can, you can trade. Um, you can just you know, trade, literally. Just you go to derivatives, you click on trade, boom, you get going. There's no no fancy stuff around it. And that is really what I like extremely. And on top of that, it's not a KYC exchange. Uh, so you really can get going in just a few minutes, uh, you know. And um, the, a link for that is also... Uh, in the description, you can get some nice bonuses. And I would just recommend give it a go and try it out. It's uh, it's beautiful. Uh, so that is what I wanted to, uh, to mention because, um, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> were asking me this question and uh, I felt compelled to give my views on what is a good alternative from my main exchange. So for the record, BitGet is my main exchange and 2Bit is my alternative exchange that I will be trading on from now on. Um, and then I want to move on to um, to the last... Oh yeah, I before I forget, uh, I also have something uh, free for you. If you want to know how when a trend remains healthy, uh, it's also a question that I guess uh, get asked quite a lot if you want to know if a trend is healthy or not how do i judge that mike well i have made a, a nice uh, cheat sheet that you can get for free which you can also find in the description so basically what i, <laughs> what I want to say is uh, like subscribe check out the description a good few links that you can check out uh, you know to help you out here and there and give you some nice uh, nice discounts and give you some free stuff so uh, check it out uh, it is there for you up for grabs. Now, lastly, I want to close off this video with an important mention because this week especially, and that ties into the fact why I am uh, talking about not getting chopped up in day trading, is we do have an extremely important week going on. We have a, a bunch of market events, right? We have a bunch of market events. As a matter of fact, as uh, I'm making this video right now at two o'clock over here, and we can see here in the calendar on uh, on the Thrive Labs uh, website uh, that we've built we can see that we have a uh, we we've got the inflation rates coming out uh, as a matter of fact in 13 minutes right and, and that that is the first of a series of events that's going to unfold this week big news last news of the week uh, tomorrow we have the PPI we have the interest rate this uh, decision and we have a press conference and then on Thursday we also have uh, jobless claims coming out so all in all that's the last thing that I really wanted to mention be aware that price can get a little bit volatile. Hence the reason why the levels are a little bit more wider than you're used 
of me to giving you, preparing you for that potential volatility, but keeping the framework alive where the emotions um, um, are not allowed to play a role in your decision making, right? This is basically the bullish level, bullish continuation level, and this is the, uh, well, slightly a sign of weakness level, a little, slightly more bearish level. And on, as long as we stay in between this level, you can consider price just taking a little bit of a breather, pretty wide area that leaves some space for all these news events to come out. Um, and, and, you know, as long as we stay within these levels, price can be considered neutral. And with that, I'm going to close off this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. I'm looking forward to bring you some really nice Christmas specials uh, very soon. Uh, so hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on those. They will be live streams and will be done live. And I will be diving also into the macro things and we discuss some fundamentals as well. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.